Hi, Mum. Oh, we're not going to school today, Katie, love. We're going to the doctor's. Oh, yes. Did you sleep any better? Mm, not really. Better go and get changed. OK, love. Faith, you're going to make us both late for work. I'm not coming. We have to. Just say I'm ill. Look, you can't just stay in bed because you feel a bit low. It'll only make it worse. You go. Don't worry about me. Look, you haven't been seeing Liam very long. I don't see why you're so upset. I thought I should keep it clean. The other one's the same. Mm -hmm. How did you get these marks, Katie? Someone wrapped something round your wrist? Elastic bands. Oh, somebody wrapped elastic bands around your wrist? Not someone. I did. Mm -hmm. well, that must have hurt. I found them last night. They must have been there for a while. I just don't know how she could stand it. Tell you what, Katie. Why don't you go sit in the waiting room while I have a chat with Mummy? Eh? We'll see if Mrs McGuire can find you some pens and paper. Okay. She's good at drawing, aren't you, Katie? Are you? Well, you can do a picture for the notice board. Come on. Oh, Oakley, I haven't seen you before, have I? No, I'm not ill very often. Well, that's good. And there's nothing wrong with me now, either. I'm just having trouble sleeping. How long has this been going on for? A week. I'm no good for anything in the daytime. That's the thing. I do a bit of charity work, and I'm letting people down. Do you know why you can't sleep? What do you mean? I thought you could just prescribe me some pills. I can, but it's worth having a chat first. So, is there anything on your mind at the moment? I am so sorry. I've been trying to sort Faith out. I mean, it's no wonder she's depressed if she won't get out of bed. It's a vicious circle, isn't it? Depressed? Well, I don't know. I, I mean... Maybe she's coming down with something. Anyway, she won't be in today, and she said you'd understand. Did she now? Well, I'd rather she came into work while she makes up her mind about her future here. Who knows? It might even help. Is there anything wrong between Faith and Liam? Uh, Mac had a chat with her yesterday, but he wasn't sure. Um, she really hasn't said much about it. It's the little girl I babysit for. I think she's being abused. That's the word they use now, isn't it? I was sitting for her last week. Her and her stepbrother. He's 15. I expect he's old enough to look after himself, but anyway, he was there. And then something suddenly happened upstairs. No. I heard the little girl's voice. Then she started screaming. No, go away. The boy was there. Ah, no. She was very disturbed. I didn't know what to say. I couldn't say anything. So I went back downstairs. Did you tell her mother when she got home? I didn't know how to. You see, I never actually saw anything. I haven't been babysitting there since. I don't think I could face the little girl. You need to tell her mother everything you heard. There may be nothing to it. The children could have been playing a game of some kind. I don't think so. What I heard was real. The boy must have stopped when he heard me coming upstairs. I don't think I wanted to know what he was doing. How is she generally? She's a lot more anxious. Over the last couple of weeks, I suppose. Quiet, nervous, a bit lost, really. She's never been a particularly outgoing child, but she's always been happy. Mm. Does she ever talk to you about what might be wrong? She's tired. That's part of it. 
She's not been sleeping very well. So she's, she's not got the energy to do all the things she used to. Normally she'd play for hours in her room, making up little games. But she doesn't seem to have the attention span anymore. Well, her lack of sleep doesn't explain what's happened to her wrists. No, but there's something else. She's invented this imaginary friend. I can be talking to her, and then she'll suddenly mention Melissa and talk about her as if it's someone she's always known. I thought maybe someone new had started in her class, but they haven't. I asked a teacher. And have there been any recent changes in her life that she may have found stressful? On the surface of it, yes. Um, I've just got remarried, and we've just moved into my husband's house. But I have been going out with him for three years, so she knows him very well. Well, I can give her an antibiotic cream for her wrists, but I also think it would be a good idea for her to see the child psychiatrist. Why? Well, it'll be different for Katie talking to someone she doesn't know. She may be able to say things to them that she can't say to you. I don't mind you talking to Mark. It's just you going on about that course all the time. Not all of us were lucky enough to have the opportunity to go. Well, I didn't see any of the others queuing up for details. I think you're jealous. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Mark's very charming, and I'm glad you two are getting on better now. I mean, it beats all that stupid competitiveness we had earlier on. Stop smirking, you look like a schoolgirl. Um, is it all right if I pop back home? I just want to check on Faith. Well, can't you ring her? I have. She's not answering. I'll be back before the clinic. Well, at the very latest. I can't do my work if I'm covering yours. <laughs> 